Hi everyone, Miss Martin here, and I wanted to make a quick video based off of lesson 12, where we were subtracting mixed numbers because I saw a lot of people made a common mistake. Here's what I saw. Miss Martin, can't we just take away the whole numbers? So, thinking back to a couple lessons ago, we thought, hey, you know, we can simplify this if we just add seven plus four when we were talking about the addition ones. This time we're subtracting and their thought process, and I've seen this on a lot, a lot of homework papers, was seven minus four is three. And then we're left with one fifth minus one third. However, can we do that? One fifth minus one third. Here's what we have here. One fifth is a smaller fraction than one third. It's a smaller number. So we cannot take one third out of one fifth, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have it in there. So that will not work, okay? So we can't just take away the whole numbers and then subtract the fractions. That's not gonna work that way. The long way, it is doable, but it has a lot more opportunities for a mistake. So for example, here's how I did it. And I, I know this is a lot more work than what you guys have done. That's why I didn't show you this way in the first video. So seven minus four, right? That gives us three. But you have to remember this number here, the one fifth is added with the three. Okay, that's part of the number that's being taken away. So it's not as simple, oh, I'll take away the whole numbers, then take away the fractions. No, that doesn't work that way because that one fifth is part of the original number that's being taken away. So you'd have to figure out what is three plus one fifth, 15 fifths plus one fifth, then minus the one third. And here's where we're at, 16 fifths minus one third. Find your common denominator of 15, multiply and rewrite your fractions, and you are left with the correct answer, two and 13 fifteenths. So yes, subtracting the whole numbers is possible, but then you're left with all of this. The easiest way to complete these problems is right from the get-go, change them into improper fractions. Get rid of the whole number by rewriting it as 36 fifths and the other whole number by reading it, write it as 13 thirds, okay? So that's step one, rewrite it as an improper fraction. Then your common denominator, the least common denominator between five and three is 13. So here we go, 36 times three, five times three, minus 13 times five over three times five. I know this requires you to do a little bit extra with like multiplication, but I feel more confident having you guys do 36 times three than all that other nonsense, okay? So here are the fractions we are left with. 108 over 15 minus 65 over 15. You can take away 65 from 108 to get your remaining numerator, 43 fifteenths. That is still an improper fraction, so rewriting it as two and 13 fifteenths, okay? We did get the same answer, but I just want you to look and count up all the steps. So step one, rewrite as an improper fraction. Step two, multiply those fractions to find a common denominator. Step three, subtract and simplify. Up here, we had step one, step two, add back in the fraction part, step three, step four, step five, six, six, so way more steps and way more opportunities for a mistake. So in the grand scheme of things, do not, do not subtract the whole numbers. This is a big no-no. All right, unless you're really confident that you can do all six steps of that together, don't do it. Don't do it. Just go ahead, rewrite them as mixed numbers, and then go from there. Thanks for joining me.